Draw today. Could you tell us something about the game? Um, well, obviously, we liquidated, I mean, we exchanged a lot of pieces and we got into a very simple, um, I wouldn't call it an end game because we still have queens, but almost an end game. And then, um, but I found this plan to play bishop e2, put a rook on c3, and threaten to double on the c file. And I, I thought maybe I can uh, make life a bit unpleasant for him. He found a very unusual plan, which is to put his rook on c6 and defend it like that. Uh, so then I decided not to exchange rooks because that will take the pressure off him, but to simply move with the queen and try and improve it as much as possible. Of course, objectively, I don't think I have anything, but it can be difficult to play over the board. So my idea was to maneuver my queen to f4 or e5 and then see what I could do. Um, and then we had this funny exchange where I was we try, uh, sort of zigzagging with the queens and then uh, he got careless for a minute when I went to h4, he went to f8 and he allowed b4. After this, I, I briefly thought I was winning. Uh, then I realized that he has some great resources. For instance, after queen d7, bishop e6 doesn't work because of rook e6, rook c7, queen d5, rook takes b7, g5. And um, then afterwards, I, I felt that I should be breaking through. but I couldn't see exactly how. The thing is, if he waits on b7 with his bishop and he leaves his rooks on b8, I mean uh, c8 and d7, I don't see how I can break through. Maybe I have to put a lever rook on a7 and trade bishops, but the problem is black always gets come to play one way or the other. Anyway, to cut a long story short, uh, I was, um, well, I, mean, I succeeded in making life unpleasant for him, but it was not enough. He always defended very well. And the thing about Sergei is he makes passive moves very uh, exactly. He's, he has no problems making passive moves. You could see sometimes he needed to waste a move. He would play king h8 or king f8. And sometimes this is the most unpleasant thing in defender that uh, uh, they don't try to break free. So I could not do anything. Uh, do you think that you still have chances uh, to uh, to get at the same level uh, in this tournament as Magnus? Well, I'm trying not to go there. I mean, um, I mean, first let me uh, play the next game, and, and it goes like that. Obviously, um, well, I, I guess I have theoretical chances, so uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, well, he's Magnus is much more efficient at collecting points. I mean, he's just uh, winning every kind of position, and uh, no, that's an amazing skill. So it makes it very tough on the others to catch up. I mean. Um, he, I mean, he's just converting almost every game, so that's a huge uh, disadvantage if you're trying to keep up with it.
you congratulations. How did it go? <laughs> well, very good. <laughs> of course, I mean, uh, winning with black and uh, so quickly. Uh, of course, it always means something really special happened. And uh, actually, I managed to show very strong preparation. And uh, I mean, this H6 move is a move which is normally not good in all this type of position because it allows wide all this uh, very dangerous attacking ideas like like in the game but uh, but i knew that they don't work and uh, even of course over the board was uh, very tempting because it's absolutely clear if he cannot punish me immediately with some uh, sacrifice then uh, after knight h5 if he has to change the bishop then i take knight e7 and black is just uh, perfect uh, I mean, very comfortable position, and also bishop g3 is, uh, is not uh, dangerous. So basically, queen c2 uh, is a blunder, but a very logical human move because he he wants to punish me for for playing h6. <coughs> and uh, his problem was that after queen c2, I also have f5, a move which is not really good, but also very messy. And uh, he thought that I'm forced to play f5, but after queen c2, I could go g6 and uh, rook takes e6 which is the only idea and the only move already in this position the rook e6 knight f4 it is crazy if you don't know that computer evaluates it as a clear advantage for black you think that uh, okay this will never work for black uh, but uh, it was because computer gives such a huge advantage i remember that i even did not check it i just saw that ah yes very nice okay knight f4 so this queen c2 moves do not uh, work because if queen d3, then knight f4 is always a 4, but with queen c2 it's, it's not. And the whole idea is that after rook e4, knight b4, white pawn is not yet on a3. I mean, these positions have so many small uh, subtleties. <coughs> and uh, I mean, after rook e4, knight b4, bishop takes e7, and knight takes c2, bishop takes d8. I mean, nobody can calculate, but you just take bishop takes e4, and finally it turns out that you took uh, at least one, one guy more. So it was, uh, it was of course a shock for Ivan and after night F4 he realized that he's basically losing uh, material. And uh, after rook e7, knight e7, basically white has uh, very little hopes. <laughs>